सो गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द हीप शॉर्ट सो हीप इज बेसिकली इट इज हीप इज एन एरे दैट कैन बी विजुलाइज एज अ कंप्लीट बर्निंग ट्री सो दिस वीडियो बेसिकली कवर्स द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द हीप दैन वट इज मैक्स हीप दैन मिन हीप एन हीप एज द ट्री एंड दैन हाउ वी कैन वी विल सी द हीप शॉर्ट एलगोर्दम means how we can short the array we will short the array by using the two ways first will we will use the heapy by method and second we will use the create heap and the delete heap so let us see first of all we will see what is a heap so heap is a binary tree heap is a a binary tree that satisfy the following two properties first property is shape property and second is order property now we will see what is shape property shape property shape property means a heap must be a complete complete binary tree and we are familiar with the complete binary tree that we have already studied in the tree so in which all the levels except the deepest or last is completely and holes are on the right side and holes or vacant positions holes are on the right side for example let us consider an example 9 this is 9 8 6 this is any complete binary we can see so this is complete binary tree in which all the levels are filled except the last one this level is not filled and this is a hole so this is the complete binary tree now we'll see that what is the order property second property is order property this order property deals with the two things first is max heap and second is min heap so first one is if 
the value of the parent node the value of the parent node is greater or equal to its children this is max e property so if the value of the parent node is greater or equal to its children so this is the max e that is to say a of parent i it should be greater than or equal to a of i where is i is any node i is the index of any node for example we can take an example of this max e we can consider the same example like we can take here 9 8 6 5 2 1 9 8 6 5 2 1 now here we can see the every parent is greater than its children let me focus on this 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 parent is greater than its children because eight is greater than its five and two six is greater than one nine is greater than eight nine is greater than six. So this is the example of the max e. Now we will see the second case of order property if the value of Parent node is less than or equal to less than or equal to its children. This is known as Mac Mini. This is mean e in which the parent is always less than its children. That is to say, a parent i is less than equal to a i. For example, we can take an example like one, three. Six, five, four, and eight. This is any binary tree, which is the mean e, because all the parents are less than their children. Like in this, we we can see. This three is less than five and four, six is less than eight, and one is less than three and six. So this is the mean e. This is the mean e with six elements, and this is the this is the max e with Six elements. Now we will see the heap as the tree. Now we will see heap as a tree. So this heap is basically heap is this heap. Is an. This is basically an array which can be visualized as the complete binary. 
so heap is an array which can be visualized as complete binary tree it can be visualized as the complete binary tree in which any node say i at at index i will have its left child and indexed to into i at index 2 into i and its right child and index 2 into i plus 1 and the parent at index i bar to and the root node root node i equals to 1 and i equals to 1 so we can say heap as a tree to so heap is an array it is nothing but it is an array which can be visualized as a complete binary tree in which in which any node and index i index i will have its left child left child at index Move into i and the right child at two into i plus one and its parent at i one two. For example, for example, let us say any example. Fifty. This is forty. This is thirty-five. This is twenty-five. This is twenty-one, and then twenty-seven. Let us consider. It is a complete binary tree. Fifty, forty, thirty-five, twenty-five, twenty-one, twenty-seven. It is a max heap. This is a max heap of. Six element. Let us say this is figure A. Now, its corresponding array will be. This will be fifty, forty, thirty-five, twenty-five. Twenty-one and twenty-seven. So this is the array. This we have already seen in a representation of binary tree. Of binary tree. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. This is first elements. Second element, third element, fourth element, fifth element, sixth element. Let us say this is figure B. So this is the array of max E. So now we will see that how we can see. We will verify its left child, right child, and the parent. So in the right hand side, we are seeing a table. 
In this, we will see each node, and from these nodes, we will calculate. We will see the indexes of the left child, right child, and the parent. Now, let us see. This is like in this table, we are having attributes. Like this is node i, left child. This is two into i. This is right child. Two into i plus one. This is parent. I upon two. So these are these are the indices of node, left child, right child, parent. Now we will see the first. Let us see. First, now we will calculate its left child. So left child will be two into one, so it will be two. Now we can see from here the left child of first node. This is one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we can see that this is two. So first node, first nodes. Its left child is at at second. Its index is second. So this is forty. So it is verified from here. This is forty. Now the right child. Its right child. This will be two into i plus one. So this is two into one plus one. So this will be three. So its right child is at third position at index three. So this is 35. So it is also verified. Now we can see the parent. Parent of this. This will be one upon two. So it will be zero. So its parent is at zeroth position, which does not exist. So this does not exist. Now we will see the node, second node. So this will be its left child will be. This is second. This is 40. Its left child will be 2 into 2. This will be 4. So its left child is at fourth position. It index 4. This is 25. So it is clear. Now its right child will be 4 plus 1. So this will be 5. Its right child is at fifth position. This is 21. So this is also very right. Now its parent, parent will be two upon two. This will be one. So its parent is at index one. So this is fifty. It means it is true. Now when i goes to three, when i goes to three, this particular node. So its left child will be six. So left child is at sixth position. Yes, this is true. Twenty-seven. So it is true. Its right child will be at two into three plus one. So this will be at seventh position. Now we can see because there is no seventh position, seventh index is absent. So it means its right child is absent. Now we will calculate. We will see the parent. Parent will be three upon two. It comes out to be this is three upon two. This is one point five. So we will take its floor value. So this will be again one. So this will be one. So its parent is this fifty. So it is also two. Now we will consider this i goes to four. I goes to four. So now we will see the left child. Left child will be at eight position. At index eight. Because four into two, this will be eight. Now we'll see eight position is absent. From here we can also see because there are six elements in this array. Eight is absent, so this is not verified. This is absent. In the same way, its right child will be at position two into i plus one. This will be nine. The next nine is also absent. Now its parent. This will be four upon two. So this is two. It means its parent is at position two. Its parent is at position two. Yes, this is forty. So it is verified. Now we will see when i goes to five. I goes to five is this? Not twenty one. 
Now we will see its left child. So its left child will be at position 10, which is absent. So this is not verified. Also, we can see this is, these are the lead nodes. That's why they will not have left child as well as right child. So and this it is verified from here also because two i is 10. So it is not present. In the same way, the right child will be at position 11 and 11 position is also not present. So this is also not present. This is absent. Now we will see its parent 5.2. This comes out to be 2.5 or this is 2. We will take its floor value. So this will be 2. So its parent, parent of 21 will be at second position. This is 40. So it is verified from here. This is 40. This is also verified. Now when i is 6, we will consider this particular node. This is 27. So its left child will be at position 6 to the 12. This is also absent. And its right child will be, this will be 13. This is also not present. And its parent will be 6 upon 2, 6 upon 2, this is 3. So its parent, parent node is at third position. So its parent node is at third position. It, it, it can be verified from here. So this is 35. So this is verified. So in this way, we can see, we can visualize this heap as a, uh, this heap as an array. And we can verify all the indices of all the nodes with the help of this table. Now we will see that what is the EP5 process because EP5 is very important in heap short algorithm. Now we will see how to build the heap. Building the heap is also known as EP5 process. So we will see. And this is very important to know how to build a heap before applying the heap short algorithm. So, <clears throat> before applying heap short algorithm, it is or we must know how to build a heap or this is also known as heapify. Now let us consider an array, an unshorted array for example an unshorted array that is containing the elements like 4, 1, 3, 2, 16, 9, 10, 14, 8 and 7. So these are the elements of the unshorted array. Now what we will do? We will make a heap for this unshorted array. So first of all, what we will do, we can make a corresponding binary tree for this array easily. Like we can make, this is 4, 1, 3, 2, 16, 9, 10, then 14, then 8, and then 7. So this is the corresponding binary tree of this array this is first element first second third fourth fifth six seven eight this is eight nine and ten so this is the binary tree for this 
as this is the simple binary tree of this array. Now we will heapify it. Heapify. So again we can take these elements like this is 4, this is 1, this is 3, 2, then 16, 9, 10, 14, 8 and then 7. So this is the same tree. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, these are the indices, 8, 9 and then 10. It means this array is containing 10 elements. Now what we will do? Now we will make it a maxi. We have already seen the property of the maxi that in maxi the parent should every parent should be greater than its greater or equal to its children. So we will see the first parent. First parent is this 16. We are not taking the leaf nodes because they are not having the children like 7, 8, 14, 10, 9. These are the leaf nodes. So this is the First parent, this is 16. 16 is greater than 7, so it, it is okay. No need to make any change. Now we will see 2. 2 is less than 14 and 8. So 2 and 14 should be interchanged. Here we have to take care that this 2 is greater than 14 as well as 8. But we have to take care and we have to interchange this 2 with the greater value. So this 2 and 14 should be interchange. Now it is ok. Now this 14 is greater than 2 and 8. Now we will see this 3. This 3 is less than 9 and 10. So 3 should be 3 and 10 should be interchanged. So this will be 10 and this will be 3. So now it is ok. This is greater than 9 and 3. Now we will see this 1. So 1 is less than 14 and 16. So 1 and 16 should be interchanged. So this 1 and 16 will be interchanged. Now it is ok. 16 is ok but this 1 is less than this 7. So again we will interchange this 1 and 7. So this is 1 and this is 7 now. Now it is ok. The 16 is greater than 14 and 7. Now we will see 4. 4 is less than 16 and 10. So 4 should be swept with this 16. 4 and 16 should be interchanged. So now we will interchange this 16 and 4. Now we will compare this 4 because this 4 is now less than this 14. So 4 and 14 should be interchanged. So this is this will be 4 and this will be 14 now. Now again we will see this 4 is less than this 8. So what we will do? Again this 4 and 8 should be interchange. So this 8 will come here and 4 will come down. So this is 4 and this is 8. Now we can check all the nodes. Okay, 16 is greater than 14 and 10. 14 is greater than 8 and 7. 
10 is greater than 9 and 3 and this 7 is greater than 1 8 is greater than 2 and 4 so this is the max this is the max heap of this unshorted array of array we can write the array for this so this can be written as 16 comma 14 comma 10 comma 8 comma 7 comma 9 comma 3 comma 2 comma 4 comma 1 so these are the this is the corresponding area of this maxi so we have created a heap so this is the heap if I process EP5. Now we will see the heap short algorithm now. Heap short algorithm. This is very important part of this heap short because ultimately we have to short the by using the heap short algorithm so this contains basically four step and this heap short algorithm is very important because the priority queue uses this heap short algorithm so it contains normally four steps first step is build a and initial Initial maxi and then step two interchange the root root that is the like this is the largest element so largest element with the last in the last element so this is step to interchange the root that is the largest element with the last element step 3 epify downward epify downward from the root to Rebuild the heap heap of size less than size one less size. change the root element with the last element it means it will not be a heap so we need to reheapify it so this is step 3 and then step 4 is repeat steps 2 and 3 until no more elements These are the four steps of this heap short algorithm. Now we will apply this on this maxi that we have already created. 
So let us consider we have given any array. So first we will make a maxing for it, and then we will apply this entire algorithm. So we can take the same maxing. Like this is containing 16. 14 then 8 then 7 then 9 3 2 4 and then 1 just so 16 14 10 8 7 9 3 2, 4 and 1. So this is the maxi. This is first element, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. 7, 8, 9 and then 10. So now we will apply this. We will come to step 2 because we have already created this maxi. So we have created the maxi. Now we will interchange the root. This is the root with the last element. So this 16 interchange 16 and 1 are interchange. So this will become 16 and this will be 1. So we can say that 16 is shorted and we are writing here this is 16. Now this 16 and 1 are interchange. Now we will check whether this is heap or not. Now this is not the heap because this one is less than 14 and 10. So what we will do? Now we will make it a heap. So 1 should be 1 and 14 should be interchange. So what we will, we will do? This will become 14 and this will become 1. These two are interchange. Now we will check this one is less than 8 and 7. So this 1 and 8 should be interchange. So here will be 8 and this will be 1. Again this one is less than 2 and 4. So 1 and 4 should be interchange. So this will be 4 and this will be 1. Now we can check that whether this is heap or not. 14 is greater than 8 and 10. It is okay. 8 is greater than 4 and 7, it is ok. 10 is greater than 9 and 3, it is ok. 4 is greater than 2 and 1. 7 is greater than, because it is already shorted, that is why we will not consider this 7. Now what we will do, now we can, now this is the max heap. So we will interchange this root with the last element. Last, now last element is this, this is the second last basically. So 14 and 1 will be interchange. So this will be 14 and this will be 1. Now we can say this 14 is shorted or we can write here this is 14. Now we will see that again the property of the max heap is disturbed because 1 is less than 8 and 10. So what we will do now this 1 and 10 should be interchanged. So this will be 10 and this will be 1. Now again this 1 is less than 3 and 9. So 1 and 9 should be interchanged. So this will be 9 and this will be 1. Now it is ok. This is also ok. And this, these are also ok. So we can say that this is the Max heap now. Now what we will do? We will interchange the root with the last element. So root is 10. This is the largest element. So 10 and 2 are interchange. So what we will do? Now this will be 
10 and this will be 2. So we can say this is also shorted. We make it red because they are shorted. So this 10 is shorted. Now again we will check whether this is a heap or not. So again we will reheap it by 8 because 2 is less than 8 and 9. So again we will make it a heap. So 2 and 9 should be interchange. So here will be 9 and this will be 2. And 2 is less than 3. So 2 and 3 again they should be interchange. So this will be 3 and this will be 2. Now again we can check that all the parents are greater than its children. So this is the max heap. 9 is greater than 8 and 3. 8 is greater than 4 and 7. 3 is greater than 1 and 2. Now we can interchange these two elements. The root with the last element. So this is the largest element with the this. So this 9 and 2 can be interchange. So this is 9 and this is 2. So we can say this 9 is this is shorted. So we can make it red. So these four elements are shorted. Now again because this is not the maxi again we will build a e because 2 is less than 8 and 3. So 2 and 8 will be interchanged. So here we will write 8 and this will be 2. Now 2 is less than 7. So 2 and 7 should be interchanged. So this will be 2 and this will be 7. Now we can check all the parents. 8 is greater than 7 and 3. 7 is greater than 4 and 2. 3 is greater than 1. Now what we will do? We will interchange the root which is the largest element with the last element so 8 and 1 are interchanged so what we will do 8 will come here and 1 will go here so this will be 8 and this will be 1 so now this is 8 so this 8 is shorted now now again we will see because now this is not a max C because the parent is less than its filter, 1 is less than 7 as well as 3. So 1 and 7 should be interchanged. So what we will do? 7 will come here and 1 will come here. Again, this 1 is less than this 4. So 1 and 4 should be interchanged. So this 1 will come here. Now we can check all the parents. 7 is greater than 4. 4 is greater than 1 and 2. So now what we will do? This is the this again this is the max e. So what we will do now? We will again interchange the root that is the largest element with the last element. So 7 and 2 are interchanged. So what we will do? This 7 will come here and this 2 will come here. This is 2. And this is same. So now seven is has come in its final position. So this is shorted. So this is shorted. So this is shorted. Seven shorted. Now again we will see. We will check. Again we will make a heap because two is less than four and three. So two and four should be interchange. What we will do? This two and four. This is 2 and this is 4. Now we can check all the parents. This 4 is greater than 2 and 3 and 2 is greater than 1. It means this is the max e. Now we can interchange the root with the last element. So 4 and 1 should be interchanged. So here we will make 
This will be 4 and this will be 1. It means this 4 is shorted. So we can make it red. This 4 is shorted. So we can write here. Yeah. This is 4. Again we will check. This one is less than 3 and 2. So this 1 and 3 should be interchanged. So 1 will come here. This is 1 and this is 3. Now this is a heap. So this is a heap. So this is max heap. So the 3 is 2 greater than 2 and 1. So now what we will do? We can interchange this root with the last element. Now last element is 1. So 3 will come here. 3 and 1 will come here. Now we can say this is also shorted. We can write here this is 3. Now again what we will do? We will check because the parent is less than its children. Again we will make a heap. 1 is less than 2. So there should be interchange. So what we will do? This will be 2 and this will be 1. Now again this is a maxi. We have to it as a maxi. Now what we will do? Now we can interchange the root with the last element. So root is 2 and the last element is 1. So we can interchange these two. So this will be 2 and this will be 1. So we can say this 2 is shorted. It has come in its final position. So this is 2. Now it is remaining with the 1 element. So it is also shorted. So we can write it here 1. And this is also shorted. So we can say all these 10 elements are sorted. This is 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th and then 10. So these 10 elements of the array has been sorted. So, so now let us recall that how we have applied this heap short algorithm. So this was the step 1. We have built an initial maxi for the unshorted array for the unshorted array and this array we have taken from here. This is the array. So we have built the initial maxi. So for this particular unshorted array we have made a maxi and after that we have applied this we have shorted in this way so we have used after that we have used the step 2 and 3 to short the array so we can say initially we have taken this unshorted array and after that we have made this maxi and this is the corresponding array for this maxi so and then we have applied this we have used these steps 2 and 3 and in this way we have shorted this array so initial array was this and after making the, the maxi the array was this and finally this is the final shorted array thank you